so this is the guava tree I had it covered during this summer um, it's time to remove the covering but I got this when it was just a tiny tiny little plant and now it's grown I haven't gotten any guava from it as yet but hopefully we'll get some guava Welcome back to another culinary series and today we'll be talking about guava. Now when I lived in Jamaica I took guava for granted. Guava was so plentiful and I only started to appreciate guava in 2017, February 2017 when I moved to the US because guava is expensive here and uh, I said well I can get guava plenty plenty in Jamaica why must I come here and buy guava and so I did some research on guava and this fruit is a very versatile fruit um, I did not know that guava had so many health benefits and we're gonna talk about a couple of those so guava has 628% of the daily recommended intake of vitamin C that's four times more vitamin C than orange it has 21% of the daily recommended intake of vitamin A 20% um, that of folate 90% that of copper and it has about 36% um, of dietary fiber so what well, and all these health benefits that I'm going to tell you about they are all evidence-based so just to start um, guava has folic acid vitamin B9 20% of the daily recommended intake which means that it's good for pregnant women because it can help to decrease the chances of the fetus having neural tube defect or any neurological um, problems during birth uh, it also helps to relieve menstrual symptoms. Now, there is a study with 197 women who were taking guava leaf extract, and it amounted to six milligrams of that guava leaf extract, and their menstrual pain had greatly declined. And it is believed that the guava leaf extract is more powerful than some of these painkillers. So there are actually research out there that does conclude on this. Now, guava also helps to relieve stress because it contains magnesium, which also helps to relax and calm us. It is very good to help us to relieve and decrease our stress levels. It also has um, dietary fiber, as mentioned before, and as a result, it is good for diabetics. Guava also has a low glycemic index, meaning that it decreases a sudden spike in our blood sugar level. So guava is very good for diabetic patients. Guava is believed to have antimicrobial properties, so it's good against any fungal or viral or by, uh, bacteria, bacterial infections. So these are actually evidence-based. So guava is believed to be good against cold and the flu. And it also has anti-inflammatory properties. So if you're having a cold or a flu or feel like you're coming down with any viral infection of the respiratory tract or of the gastrointestinal tract as well, just have yourself guava in any form. But it's not good to add sugar to your guava because sugar can make our system or our blood acidic and these microbes the virus the bacteria the fungus they love an acidic medium so these guava jellies and so on they may contain too much sugar so you don't want to turn a healthy thing into an unhealthy thing now guava also has this rich in vitamin C as mentioned and this also helps to protect us from the cold and the flu now guava is very 
whole full when it comes on to skin care. It says a guava a day keeps the wrinkles away because it's rich in vitamin A, um, not as rich as carrot, but it also has a very rich vitamin C content and excellent antioxidant properties. So this helps to slow the aging process for us and gives us beautiful radiant skin, good skin complexion, good skin texture, excellent skin tone. Now, we know that guava has seeds and again, darter fiber. It has soluble fiber and because of this, it is good for our digestive system. It helps to prevent constipation and because of the anti-inflammatory properties, it can also help to decrease and quickly resolve diarrhea. So in one end, it prevents constipation and on the other end, it can decrease and relieve the symptoms of diarrhea. Because of the fiber content, the guava also helps to decrease our risk of stroke and any other cardiovascular diseases because the dietary fiber traps the bad cholesterol, which is the low density lipoprotein, LDL, and it increases our good cholesterol, the high density lipoprotein. So it's good at lowering our blood cholesterol level. So don't hold back on eating your guava. It also helps with weight control, but because of the dietary fiber, of course, but more research is needed on this. And the guava seed extract helps with digestive health and also giving that bulk and also with skin care. So if you grind your guava leaf, your guava seeds, the blender doesn't work well in grinding your guava seeds. So you actually need a grinder to get it in that, you know, nice little powder form and depending on how much you want it to be grinded, you can use it as an exfoliant for the skin. So you can remove all those um, dead cells from the skin. Now guava boosts brain power. It can decrease our risk of Alzheimer's disease and of dementia. It improves cognitive function, improves memory and your thought process. Because it is so rich in antioxidants, it has the polyphenols, the um, lycopenes, the vitamin C, and other um, properties that can help to boost uh, brain power. And because of these antioxidants as well, it can improve and boost our immune system to help us to fight off all these um, diseases and all these illnesses. Now, because of the vitamin A content, guava also helps with eye health. It helps to decrease the risk of decreased cataract and uh, macular degeneration. And it is believed that if you're having, moving towards poor vision, guava can help to reverse this so guava is such a powerful fruit that i initially took for granted it also because of the antiviral and antibacterial properties it also is good for oral health it also believes that guava leaf extract is powerful in relieving toothache i've never tried it but their actual research out there that says guava leaf extract. So boil guava leaf, crush your guava leaf, put it on the um, tooth that's affected or teeth that are affected and let the guava leaf extract do its job. So these are, um, guava also has potassium. It has a fair enough source of potassium. So if you have any um, impairment in your kidney function, you may want to consult your doctor before you have guava. So these are all I have on guava. This t-shirt is from my store and I'll put the links um, in the description below. Um, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let us continue to support each other on our journey towards good health. And remember, it's never too late. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and God bless.